Hey guys, Mick from Oztrax 4x4 here. Today I'm just going to run through my recent mods I've done to the vehicle, starting from the front and working my way down to the back. If you're interested, stick around and I'll show you what I've done. So my first upgrade here I've done just recently is to actually upgrade the battery for the winch. Um, I was originally running a 630 CCA battery, which is just not enough. So minimally recommended for the Dominator Extreme was 650 CCA. So managed to get the old uh, supercharge in here. If you're interested to know what the uh, the um, part number is on the battery, it's an MF95D31L. That bolts straight in. Might need to modify the bracket just a little bit to pull it up tight so it hooks onto this edge here. As it doesn't have a full edge across the edge, across this side of the battery like it does on this side. But yeah, that's a good little upgrade. Starts a hell of a lot better now. And um, and yeah, that's one of my little upgrades. Still uh, other things I have to do. And I can get down into here. I have to mount my relay still here for my spotties. Spotties? Yeah, spotties. A spotty relay. I've got to mount that just up in here. But haven't done that yet. Um, just recently I've also had to replace my spotlight harness, there's a blue, it was a King's wiring harness for the King Spotties. In the wiring harness I have a transistor by the looks of it, and that transistor blue. And um, yeah, I was getting no power from the relay down to the, to the uh, spotlights, so I replaced all that. And um, yeah, all works now. Also changed the switch, I'll show you that in a sec. So. Unfortunately, I've had to mount under here is where my excess wiring is, but I'm going to change that. So I'll fix that up. Regarding the switches, uh, it's probably, about, you know, when I did these lights, I had the harness uh, that came with it, and it wasn't very long, so I couldn't get the switch to where I wanted it to. But the new harnesses, they seem to have fixed that problem. So I now have my driving lights here on the bull bar. And here is my spotlight switch, so so that fixes that issue. Um, yeah, let's go on to my other little mod that I've just done recently. So my other little modification here is some Light Force Rock 20 Ultra Floodlights, which are a bit too full on for what I wanted to do with them, and I didn't realise that at the time. So, so I've got these mounted here just under my awning. So at night time, I'll blind myself and I'll be able to set up under some good lighting. So uh, that's all rigged up in the back here, off the battery box, which is sitting here in the corner, which you hopefully should be able to see. So here's my battery box set up here. And yeah, my light's just rigged off of this one here at the moment. So yeah, it shows you there, they are lit up. And, and yeah, they do the job. It's got a 39 meter radius on these, which is a bit, a bit crazy. So I think the Rock 10 Ultra Floods have about 15 metres, which would probably be a lot better. Um, what else have I done? I'm not sure. Let's go have a look. For the wiring on these lights, I don't know if you can see it, if it's very clear. I've just run it along the, um, the rack. Come along there to this light. And I've come up and then I've gone around back down through here in between the uh, the mount and I've just come in through the back window here and now it hasn't leaked which is good as long as you don't put anything too thick through there but it does the job so yeah that just runs through there down the back I went in through the panel here on the side and I've come out here and into the, my battery box in there and just wide up that switch down the bottom there that's how I wired that's fairly simple, fairly easy to do. Um, it's not too difficult. So the other thing I did today was change the grease nipple on the rear of the tail shaft. For those who have 90 series and you haven't checked it out yet, it might be worth getting underneath to have a look because under flex you tend to hit your tail shaft on the um, bash plate for the sub tank and it shears it off. So. If you're wondering which ones to get, it's a six millimeter grease nipple. Um, I just use the Champion ones here because they do the job. As you see, it's a BH063. Get it to focus, there we go. So, not great, but yeah. A BH063 grease nipple, as you can see it there in the box. <clears throat> Does a job. 
Um, if you've got a clunk under accel acceleration and deceleration, <clears throat> it's generally the slip joints on your tail shaft. It's worth getting under there and just checking it out, make sure they, they have enough grease. Don't over grease them or you will hydro lock them. Um, I've done the rear, which fixed a lot of mine, but yeah, haven't done a whole lot more than that yet. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions on wiring or how to improve your fuel economy, as I've noticed a few comments in the last video I did. Um, any tips and tricks on maintenance, ball joint video will be coming at some point. Um, yeah, it's not whole, really not a whole lot for me to cover. I will be doing a video at some point on my full camping loadout when I get around to it. And yeah, hopefully you like the mods I've done. The lights are definitely a huge game changer for, for night time, for sure. Instead of having those strip lights that plug into a cigarette lighter, this one at least it's hard wires come in and flip a switch and I'm done, you know, like I don't have to set it up. Um, but yeah, we'll do a full loadout of when I go camping. We do have a Victorian high country trip coming up mid-April to early May. If anyone that watches and subscribed is in Victoria, excuse me, um, yeah, feel free to contact me. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put in the description down below a link to the uh, Facebook page and the community, which you can come along, join, chat to me directly if you like. Um, I have Instagram. So yeah, if you want to check out Instagram, it's just Oztracks 4x4, Facebook, same deal if you want to go search for that one. But I will put links in the description. Um, I did have someone ask me about my recovery points there through air on board. I will be doing a diff breather upgrade at some point as I haven't done that just yet. And I've been a bit slack and it's probably something I should do before I head to the high country. Considering we have lots of like creek crossings and that type of thing and I don't want to suck in any water. Um, other than that, Oh yeah, I'll be doing another upgrade on the back of this battery box at some point as well. I'll be making it so it's all Anderson plug connected. Um, what else do I need to do? I will also be running an Anderson plug for solar at some point because I want to get a solar blanket before I head away too. But yeah, if you like what you're seeing, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it'd be great if you do it. It gives me more of an inspiration to get out here and record another video. Um, as always, have a good one guys, catch you in the next one.